delightful dolls here. Quickly before we get started, the shouts for today go to Barbie Girl 106, Lily's World, Unicorn Twins, and Marva Chohan. Thank you so much for commenting and remember if you like the channel, all you have to do is comment something nice in my videos. So today I'm going to be making a tropical inspired custom doll for Dollightful's tropical doll collab video. So I hope you guys enjoy and let's get started. So I did particularly buy this doll for this video. Unfortunately, the uh, footage for me unboxing her was deleted, but this is how she looks. She is a made to move doll, which is awesome. And I just start by brushing out her hair. And then to make her hair wavy, I'm gonna be braiding three sections of her hair. And then I'll be rinsing that under some boiling hot water. And then after that's all air dried, I take out the braids to reveal some nice wavy hair. And then I also give it another comb through. Next, I'm taking this elastic and just putting it behind her hair or over her hair to hold back her hair and I'll be taking some nail polish remover. Acetone does work a lot better but I'm using my nail polish remover because that's all I have and I'm just removing the color on her lips using a cotton swab. It does take a while if you have nail polish remover. If you have 100% acetone it does work a lot better. But eventually once it's all taken off it should look something like this. Then using some matte mod podge I mix that with acrylic paint and I start giving details to the doll's face. Add a little bit of pink to the corner, inside corner of her eye. And I also repaint the color of her iris, still using a brown color, but making it look a little bit more realistic. And I'm using a toothpick to do this to get all the really small details. and refilling in her pupil as well. And adding a shine. I also took a color similar to her eyebrows and I'm just making them look a little bit more realistic, adding some small hairs and more texture, as you can see. I'm also adding a beauty mark and some freckles, which I think are adorable. And a little bit of color inside of her nostrils. <laughs> Then I'm using some chalk pastels to kind of give some shading to her face. And I especially love adding the blush. And lastly, I'm using some pink to color her lips. And this is her face all completed. Next, I'm using some tacky glue. You can use any white glue and I'm going to be applying that to her fingernails because I want to paint her nails but I don't want them to be permanent and the white glue can be removed after so that's why I'm adding that as a base coat and then using some actual nail polish I add that on top of the white glue to give her some painted nails next I'm going to give her some earrings and I sketch out a kind of palm leaf design and I cut that out And I made two and then I mix paints together to give it a little bit of green coloring next I'm taking some thin wire and using a needle nose plier I make a small loop and I make another one and I also take these small little pieces that I had with the polymer clay set and I attach the loop to the piece and then I glue on the leaf for the earring. So it should look something like this. Next, to actually pierce the doll's ears, I use these pin, finger, push pin, push pins, and I push that into the doll's ear, and I just kind of wiggle it around until it goes fully in. 
and then wiggle it around even more to make sure it stays open while I quickly push in the earring. And then repeat that on the other side. To give her some nice tropical looking earrings. Next, I'm using some polymer clay and I'm mixing two shades of brown together. And I'll be making a coconut top for her. So I just shape the coconut top right onto her. And then I also use a toothpick to add some details to make it look more realistic. And then I carefully remove those and because I want these to be able to be stringed together later, I poke a hole on one side of the coconut and the other side. And I repeat that for both of them. Next, I'm going to be also making the fruit hat. So I'm taking a piece of tin foil and shaping it into a pineapple shape. The reason I'm using tin foil is because it'll be lighter weight on the top of her head. Then I roll out a thin piece of yellow clay and I wrap the tin foil piece in the yellow clay. And then I use a toothpick to add some pineapple designs. And I also use some scissors to add more real a realistic design. So now it looks like a pineapple, well, almost. Next, I take some green to form the leaves of the pineapple and I attach those on. And next, I'll be working on some grapes to also go on the fruit hat. So I just roll some small purple balls using a purple polymer clay. And I also kind of attach that to the pineapple. Next, I'm making an apple, so I just take some red clay, roll it into a ball, and then use a toothpick to give it some texture, and a small little brown piece for the stem. And lastly, I'm also gonna be making a mango, so I just shape that out and add a little brown stem. I also added a couple more things, like some green grapes and a green apple, and then I bake those in the oven. Once those are done baking, I'm gonna start on the coconut top, grabbing the coconut pieces that we just baked and using some stretchy, clear string and stringing those that through the holes that we made on the coconut. And then placing that on the doll and tying it behind. And I also did use a little bit of sticky tack to help it hold in place. As for the fruit hat, I use some acrylic paints to give it a little bit more realistic color. And I also take some gr different shades of green and paint on a small piece of paper on both sides. And then cut out some leaf shapes to glue around the fruit hat. I really like how this is looking so far. Next, I take a piece of thin wire and I kind of shape it around the doll's head so it fits on nicely. And then I glue that to the fruit hat, making sure it's really secure so that it can fit on the doll's head. Next, using some light brown colored cardstock, I mark two and a half inches and cut that out. And then I start cutting some thin little pieces all the way down, except not cutting all the way through. And this is gonna be for the hula skirt. And then cutting when it goes, fits nicely around the doll's waist. And I also repeated that with a second piece. Next, I add some Velcro so that the skirt can be removed. And then I glue on the second piece that we made for more volume. Next, with using this little flower outline I made, I just sketch out some flowers on different colors of paper, and then I cut them out. 
then I kind of bend them to give them, or to make them look more realistic. And then glue them together. And then taking a needle to carefully poke a hole through the center. And I also go back through that hole with a toothpick to create a hole. And then once I have a whole bunch of different colors, I string that onto some, on, to some of that same clear stretchy string. This does take a very long time, so just be prepared if you are going to attempt this. And then once you're happy with the length, you can tie it together and put it around the doll's neck. Next, I'm adding these flowers around the hula skirt, and I think it looks really good. And now I'm gonna add some sleeves for her as well using that same technique we used for the hula skirt and make sure they fit nicely around the doll's arm. And then taking some brown thread or string and stringing that across the top to give it some more detail. Next, to make a seashell necklace, I take this small seashell I actually found on a beach and use a pin to poke a hole in it so that it can be threaded through some string and tied behind her neck for a nice little necklace. Next, I take that same string and I crisscross it around the doll's legs and then tie it in place. And then lastly, adding a small flower. For some nice ankle details. Next, I take two pieces from the front of the doll's face and pull them and tie them back to the back of her head. And then taking this small piece of wire, I kind of curve it and glue a flower to it and clamp that around where the elastic is. Of course, you could glue the flower to the actual elastic, except my elastic was so um, delicate that it would have burned through it. And I also repeat that same step that we did on the ankles of the doll for her wrists. And I also glue on a flower as well. And I also gave her this nice little purse that I was given and a small coconut drink I made from Palmer Clay. I hope you like this doll. Here's the picture I'll be submitting for the doll for Doll Lightfuls collab. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!